Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Kersitter. I'm an Ableton certified trainer. And for today's quick tip, I want to talk a little bit about Simpler and specifically the differences between classic mode and one shot mode and when you might want to use one of those modes and when you might want to use the other. Before we dive into that, I do want to let you know if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I greatly appreciate it. So when you load up a sample into Simpler, uh, it'll default to going in classic mode. And if you just initially try these two, going back and forth between the two of them, they're going to sound very, very similar. So here it is on classic mode. Here it is on one shot mode. Sounds pretty much exactly the same. However, there are a few features here that are different and they might help you out in certain situations. So uh, both of them have options for warping. So you can warp on either one. Uh, however, when you are using classic mode, you have the option for looping. So obviously, if you put something in loop mode, if I hold down that note, it'll just loop it as long as I'm holding down that note. Whereas in one shot mode, I cannot loop things. The other big thing you may notice is that when you're in classic mode, if I just barely touch the MIDI note, it'll only play the note for as long as I'm holding it down. So if I hold down a note, it plays the whole thing. But if I barely touch it, it only plays the beginning. Whereas in one shot mode, if I barely touch it, it still plays the entire thing. So it doesn't matter how long you hold down the mini note, it is going to play the entire thing. Whereas in classic mode, it, it gates it. However, if you would like to switch this into gate mode, you can do so right here. So if you switch this from trigger mode, trigger mode plays the entire thing, regardless of how long the mini note is. Gate mode will only play it for as long as I'm holding down that mini note. So you can do either one when you're in one shot mode, whereas in classic mode, it's only ever in gate mode. So that's something else to watch out for. The other really big thing here, besides the trigger gate modes and the looping, is the way the volume envelopes work between the two. And this is the part that I think most people miss out on. When you are in classic mode, you have an attack, decay, sustain, and release for your volume. So your classic like ADSR curve. So if I give this a bunch of attack, it's going to essentially be fading in the volume. Or you could like turn the sustain down. Like the decay there, you can kind of like sculpt your sound using your classic like ADSR uh, controls. So if you're used to like how a synthesizer volume envelope works, that's how it's going to work down here. However, when you are in one shot mode, you don't have an ADSR. You have a fade in and a fade out, and that's it. The nice thing about having the fade in and fade out here is that as you adjust them, you can see there's this little gray line here indicating where that fade in and fade out are. So you can actually see. Where that is and same thing here for the fade out and this is based off of the length of the sample so if i adjust the length of the sample here we can see it adjusting here so you can start fading things in and fading them out that way with the visual indicator showing you where those are at. Uh, the last and final differences between the two modes are going to be that in classic mode you have polyphony so you can play multiple notes at the same time. So it's going to sound kind of weird with drums, but you'll hopefully get the idea if I play three notes at the same time. They're all, they're all playing at the same time. Uh, whereas if you are in one-shot mode, one-shot mode is monophonic. So if I play one note and I play the same note over and over, it only plays that one at a time. Whereas in classic mode, you can play multiple notes simultaneously. Works better for using this for playing like a synthesizer. Whereas using this uh, for one sample at a time, and if you play a new sample, it's going to restart it from the beginning and override it and only allow you to hear one at a time. What does it actually mean for you in terms of like when and where you want to be using these? Uh, classic mode is really kind of designed for simpler behaving more like a synthesizer. So being able to load up either looping samples that you can use as oscillators, being able to have the kind of classic ADSR volume envelope, all that kind of stuff. Whereas one shot mode is really more kind of designed for drums and things that will just be playing once. But drums, anything like that, really great in one shot mode, whereas classic mode is more for looping things and using this to do like play sounds. So one thing I would like to point out is that if you have a drum rack and you take a sample and you load it, take a sample and you load it into the drum rack, it automatically puts it in one shot mode for you automatically. So you don't need to do anything to change that. Whereas if you take this sample and just load it onto a MIDI track, inside of Simpler, it automatically puts it inside classic mode. So if you load something outside of a drum rack, it puts it in classic mode automatically. If you load it inside of a drum rack, it loads it in one shot mode for you automatically. 
Uh, so that's really kind of the differences there. They're pretty subtle. They're not going to like make a huge difference on your sound. Uh, although I have noticed a lot of the time that one shot mode works a lot better for drums. Things are impactful. Things are just want to hear one at a time. Whereas classic mode is a lot easier to kind of like sculpt my sound and get a lot of things going on all at the same time. That's going to be it. Those are going to be the main differences between uh, classic mode and one shot mode. Try it out for yourselves. Let me know how it goes in the comments section below. And uh, thanks for watching.